Welcome everyone, make yourself comfortable. For the next couple of minutes, we will embark on a journey to the core. Thank you for joining me. Today we'll cover the project design and implementation for this series. This is the class diagram for the project. The main components are a shopping cart and an inventory. Both of them contain products. A product has a reference, a brand, a name, and a description. And there will be two kinds of products, a sellable product and a stockable product. A sellable product will have all the stuff a product has plus a good price and it will be contained in a shopping cart. The stockable product will have everything in product as well as in sellable product. And additionally, it will have a get cost method. And they will be contained in the inventory. Both shopping cart and inventory will extend the can contain products interface. This interface will have all the methods for handling products like get products, set products, get amount, increase and decrease amount. Additionally, the shopping cart will have the get total value method and the inventory will have the get total cost and get total price value methods. Finally, the user class will have ID, a name and a shopping cart. These are the interfaces. Now for the implementation we have another diagram. In the top we have the diagram for the package we just saw, in a simplified way. And this is the implementation package. We will have an implementation for sellable product which will have all the methods in his interface. The same thing for the stockable product implementation. We'll have an implementation for the shopping cart with all the methods in his interface. And it's important to point out that get total value will be a synthetic method. It will be calculated from the content of the shopping cart. Shopping cart has a content instant member, which is a counter. We'll really see that in a couple of seconds. Inventory has all the methods of his interface. The last two are synthetic. They will be calculated from the inventory stock. A stock is also a counter. All these classes are packaged private. The only class facing the user is the default factory class. With it, we are going to create all the implementations in this package. Now let's talk about the shopping cart content and the inventory stock. Both of them are counters. A counter has a bag which is a map from T to long. The idea with this map is to contain items and how many of them has been counted so far. The counter method matches very, very closely those on the shopping cart and inventory interfaces, which came from the can contain products interface. Now let's start coding the product sellable product and stockable product interfaces. This class was introduced by the archetype and is no longer needed. Now let's create the product interface with all the methods in the diagram. As well as the sellable product interface and the stockable product interface. Now that that's done, let's start with Game Contain Products, Shopping Cart, and Inventory Interfaces. Game Contain Products is going to use a generic which will extend a product. Shopping Cart will extend Game Contain Products but it will use sellable products. Inventory, similarly, will use stockable products. Now, let's write the user class. 
A user has an ID, a name, and a shopping cart. Let's generate constructors, getters, equal, hash code, and two string methods. Now, for the implementation package, let's start with counter. Like we saw in the diagram, counter will have a map that goes from T to long. Here we'll create a method that eventually will handle the products in the shopping cart as well as an in the inventory. We have implemented the getItems method for getting all the items in the counter, the setItems in order to populate the counter, the getCount for getting how many of that item has been counted, the set count in order to override the count, the remove item in order to lose track of a particular item, and method for increasing or decreasing the count one by one or by an arbitrary amount. Here we are introducing a validation in order to make sure that the user of the counter cannot increase or decrease by a negative amount. Similarly, the user shouldn't set the amount of an item to a negative number. Now, for the stockable product implementation and the sellable product implementation, this is the final result. They are very simple. They use our data classes with no logic involved. We have getters, we have a hash code, a to string and an equals methods. Next, we'll create the shopping cart and inventory implementations. Remember, the shopping cart will have a content, which is a counter of sellable product. We are going to rely on all the counters methods in order to handle the sellable products in the shopping cart. The only piece of logic that is particular of the shopping cart implementation is the get total value method. Remember, we are going to calculate this value from all the sellable products that are being tracked by the counter called content. For inventory, what they did was to copy and paste the code for jumping car, since it's quite similar. Here, I create the get total cost value and get total price value methods. Now I realize I made two mistakes. First, the stockable product implementation was extending the stock product interface. And the stock product interface was extending sellable product, both product instead. Now, let's create the default factory class. Remember that the rest of the classes are package private. In order to accomplish that, we are going to omit the visibility modifier in the rest of the classes, since the default one is package private. For the default factory class, we are going to build method for creating new instances for all the implementation classes. Shopping car, inventory, sellable product, and stockable product. When I was around recording, I realized I introduced a bug in the decrease amount method in the counter. Now I'm validating that the user of this class cannot decrease an unknown item. Plus, if the new count is less than zero, that's an error, we cannot have a negative number of items in the counter. And 
if now the new count is equal to zero, we remove that item from the count. Additionally, I created a base test class in order to produce testing data. Here we are creating several products like Mocha phone, Mocha tablet, Mocha lacto, Mahogany phone, and so on. All of these can be accessed by the tests because they are all protected. The get test data is in charge of creating the inventory as well as the user to be used in the tests. And we are wrapping the inventory as well as the users in an instance of the test data class. The add into card is a utility method in order to decrease the amount of a product in the inventory while increasing it in the shopping cart of a user. And this is the test data class that I use to wrap the inventory and the user. This is a very simple test, defines an inventory and users instance member that get populated by the best test class and here we verify that all the products are inside our inventory and all the users created in the best test class exist and that's all now it's your turn download the code and play with it have fun do you have any suggestions Remember to share your experience in the comment section below and you can ask me anything about the code there. Thank you for joining me in my journey to the core. See you soon.